Hello Scorpio, welcome back to the channel, it's the C in Tarot, and today we're going to do a video to see what's going on with you and your person, okay Scorpio, we want to know what's going on. Um, Scorpios, if you are new to the channel, remember to like the video if it does resonate, so YouTube can push the videos forward into a bigger audience, so the video can grow, so the channel can grow. And also, if it doesn't resonate, you guys, I will have a link in the description box, it will be your playlist, alright? So let's get into it, I'm going to um, draw one card from here to see what's your main message for this read in here okay angels what's the main message for scorpio Ooh, wow the eight of wands that's your main message all right so scorpio what i'm seeing from this card is someone coming towards you okay and this is going to be fast paced movement i feel like this person that's coming towards you really have a lot of feelings towards you i feel like this person loves you a lot okay i'm getting that from the eight of wands okay whatever is going on in your relationship with this person this person wants to fix things so they're rushing towards you all right and i feel like you know this person knows what they want when it comes to you but i don't know what's going on in their relationship for how why this energy is coming through um, and why this person is moving so fast to get to you okay so um, I feel like this could be in eight weeks because it's eight wands but you just never know it could be a little bit longer than that it depends on this person and their energy but I feel like this person is you know definitely feeling this connection towards you a deep connection towards you and they want to fix things with you okay so let's see what's going on in this reading here Angels, what's going on with Scorpio and their person, please? What messages do you have for Scorpio and their person? Scorpio and their person, please. What messages do you have for Scorpio and their person? a lot of passion with this person coming towards you so you might i feel like when you guys argue it's a lot like it's an explosion when you guys argue a lot of yelling a lot of passion towards each other or this person does have a lot of passion towards you your first three cards in the magician in reverse the two of wands and the ace of swords wow okay so you like I said, a lot of passion. All right, so in The Magician, I feel like someone definitely, when things doesn't go their way, they do take up this energy where they feel like they're going to betray everything that this relationship stands for. They're going to do everything to end this relationship. And I feel like this person does a lot, say a lot, so you can feel like, okay, well, you just don't care, so why should I kind of thing. I feel like this person um, tends to jump out of the connection a lot and be with other people when things are just not going and flowing in their way um i feel like this is a big situation in this connection as well scorpio i also feel like in the two of wands here you know i feel like this person yes is offering you the world with this 11 card being here in reverse okay but i feel like at this present time you are thinking or denying this connection at this present time with the 11 being in reverse like you're saying hey I might not want to be in the, with this person anymore. Like, they're giving me this choice, um, if you know, and telling me that they still want to be with me. And this is why the Eight of Wands is here, because this person is telling me, I do love my person. I'm rushing towards my person. But when they don't get their way with you, and this is very strong, strong commitment, a strong, strong, um, should I say, not say commitment, but say connection or a strong pull with this person because this person I feel like would come out of nowhere and try to say hey I want to be with you I want us to fix things and expect you to jump on that opportunity and when you don't do it Scorpio I feel like this person has this energy where they're going to be like okay you don't want to be with me fine then screw you and then go over there and do the most and cheat and you know bring other situation into this relationship and I feel for some of you this person might have cheated and not protect themselves 
himself in a magician which talks about health risk and std situation and, and stuff like that that you know you don't want people to bring into your relationship okay and i feel like scorpio i see the ace of swords here which is telling me that hey you have might have you know blocked this person and stopped talking to this person because the ace of swords is in reverse like you have blocked them okay like you're saying enough is enough i don't want to be with you because a form of communication need to happen between you two and this person is blocked okay and i don't blame you if this person is cheating and doing all of this mess and making you feel like crap or yelling at you and telling you about yourself because some of you i feel like when this connection is so strong like this person in eight of wands really really love you okay in their own way and i always say in their own way because love these days are different you know the energies just tell us what is going on but how people love is so different some could be healthy some could be non-healthy and this person you know was coming out as love here in this reading okay but when they don't get their way with you they do a lot of destruction a lot of destruction for on this relationship and a lot of destruction on themselves they could be drinking taking drugs everything everything that's negative about this you know this magician here being in reverse i'm getting okay but you know you i feel like they gave you an ultimatum like to let none of them an ultimatum but told you about their feelings that they want to be back with you they want to be in the situation with you but scorpio you decided to think about it you you didn't give them an answer and this is what you know is messing them up you know you put them and kept them in limbo because right now you need to do you and try to figure out what you want for your life and i also feel like you have blocked this person because their energy is so strong you know too strong at this moment so i see the high front here in reverse i see the six of uh pentacles and the page of pentacles in reverse <sighs> okay all right this isn't good at all um you know, I feel like there is a lot of people that might be involved with this connection as well. And I feel like you and your person has a lot of things that you guys have to deal with and talk about um, in the future when you're ready, okay? If you want to work things out with this person. But you don't need these people that's trying to come in. I'm seeing people that are friends with you or maybe your family as well. Someone on your side or someone on this person's side. But somebody's in somebody's ears here, okay? There's two people with a cipher on, okay? in reverse like and this person is not thinking for themselves so Scorpio I hope this is not your energy where you have people telling you what to do because it's not like Scorpio to listen and take advice from other people we always do what we want to do okay I'm a Scorpio too okay November 17th you guys all right <laughs> you know and I don't I people tell me you know that's I, I get it sometimes we do listen to people what am I saying but the fact is, in this case, you don't want to listen to what anybody got to say. Yes, listen and take heed and learn from the situation. But make, in the end of the day, make sure you're strong enough to make your own decisions. Because somebody here is in somebody's ears right now. And I feel like this person is codependent on their friends and family right now. And maybe because someone is hurt at this present time and they need their friends and their family around. But at the same time, you don't need your friends and family to tell you if you should and should not be with someone. Okay. That's between you and your person. All right. Unless this person is a physically abusive, which I don't see as yet. I just feel like this person is, um, in this like destructive, like will just destroy everything that they have built without and try to, you know, get it back. And if they don't get their way, they're going to try to destroy it even more, you know, to make that make you upset about what is going on. Um, but I do see the six of pentacles here where there wasn't any balance in this relationship and this person tends to take a lot instead of giving a lot. So for some of you, when I say take a lot, it doesn't have to be money, even though it's pentacles. This person couldn't, this person could be um, someone that wasn't just not there, didn't give a lot of time to you, you know, um, didn't, you know, wasn't there when you need them the most, like on vacations or family gatherings or date night, you know, they just didn't appreciate you when you were there. They just took a lot from you. Like you were plotting all these, th these things, like anything romantic, it was always you, you know, to keep this relationship together. I also see the page of pentacles where there's a lot of manipulation here. Like this person want to come in, but they're 
constantly manipulate the whole situation here. Like it's you that did something wrong and not them. They're like they're not taking responsibility of the situation. I also see the four of cups here, the two of uh, swords and the knight of swords. Again, a blockage from communication. Like this person wants to come towards you. And I'm telling you, this person is a little bit um, immature here in these um, nights, okay, in these pages, all right? Um, they're very immature, but at the same time, this person just could be that they have it they don't know how to deal with certain situations because they don't they're try, they're here to learn in life we are all here to learn in each life so i feel like this person just haven't lived a lot of lives and don't know how to solve things as fast or get over a situation as fast as you do um scorpio because you could be an energy that lived a lot more than them okay so keep that in mind i do see that this person realized that okay you might be moving on and you might be over them but that's not stopping them scorpio from approaching you and let you know that they still want to be with you okay in the four of cups but i feel like you know you're trying to make a decision for yourself scorpio here in the two of swords because you do want this situation not to linger too long where you feel like um at least you want to put bring peace to this situation and i feel like that's your person's energy as well because they're rushing to you or want to rush towards you to, for peace you know they want to not argue with you not to um to live like this they don't want to have hatred they don't want to have you upset with them i feel like you know they're coming in with less emotions though with not a lot of emotions but again you know they're approaching it like with the friendship like with uh a childish uh, gesture being friends um, to get towards you because they know that you know right now you don't want a commitment with them in the two of wands okay because this is in reverse you might be thinking about it and might say hey no I don't want this with this ace of swords here as well okay all right so we have the temperance here we have the three of swords and we have the page again a page of wands you know this person is coming in with pages and knights so very young energy so there is more time that's needed for this person to grow up i feel like you guys you know um yeah i feel like you, for some of you might say hey i gave this person a lot a lot of time a lot of patience but i feel like the, you know this person needs more um time to learn about this situation because i feel like there was a situation where heart hearts were broken here every time i see the um the three of swords here i see three hearts broken okay this could be an indication that there's three parties here that was involved in this connection okay it doesn't have to be but i'm just going to point this out since it's a general okay i also feel like in the reverse position with this three of swords here like scorpio you're letting this go you're moving on you're not you're forgiving this person okay and this person wants to approach you and wants to talk to you because they do have a lot of passion towards you they do feel excited to, uh, towards you but there's a lot of fear that comes with this okay i feel like this person has a lot of fear with commitment issues um you know when it comes to it and every time that they're with you scorpio they know they have to commit because you're you're the real deal and and they have to commit but they have a lot of fear with commitment. I also feel like this person has a lot of fear of losing you, okay? But they're coming towards you anyway with this page of wands, okay? Just to talk to you and to, to catch up, you know? Um, but they miss you. I feel like this person's miss you, okay? Um, the nine of cups here, the sun in reverse, and then we have the six of swords. Wow, wow, wow. So you are, you are this person, nine of cups, you know, this person's wish, everything that they ever wanted. I feel like this person had a lot of plans for you, but they're, they're realizing now, Scorpio, that you might not take them back and, you know, they're going to have to accept the outfall of what they have done to this relationship, okay? I also feel like in the eight of wands here i told you that this person is moving in fast pace and this is why this is why they're moving in fast pace because they love you and then i see the nine of cups in reverse which is telling me that you are everything that they ever that they ever wanted okay scorpio i do feel like the sun is in reverse whereas this person is telling me that i am so unhappy because scorpio is putting this relationship on whole like you're deciding to like move on without this person okay you're deciding to put an end to this relationship scorpio 
<laughs> wow. It's, at least you guys are going to have a talk, you know? It's not going to be a big talk. It's just because, again, another page of swords came out here, you know? And pages are, like, very immature energy. So this person, at least, they, you know, most of them are in the upright. You know, the only one came out that's in the... Be, uh, because they have um, a lot of manipulation energy, don't want to take responsibility of this whole thing falling apart because this was their doing. But, um, or it could be your doing. So whatever resonates, Scorpio, um, if you did something wrong to, to your person, just know that this message is in reverse, okay? But I feel like the page of wands, I mean, the page of swords is telling me there's going to be a talk between you and your person, okay? They're going to come towards you. You guys are going to talk, okay? I feel like this person has a lot of energy towards you. They want to have fun towards you. I feel like, you know, it's okay if you guys decide to be friends first. I feel like this person is happy that you're even in their life at this present time because guess what? They're willing to work out. This 11-11, they want this abundance with you, <laughs> They want this abundant with you. They want, you know, a marriage with you. I feel like for some of you could be married to this person because this card, 1111 card, talks about marriage. It's funny how you have the 11 card in your reading in reverse, but the 1111 is in the upright. <laughs> so this person is manifesting and still hoping for a happy um, abundance with you. They don't want to be happy with you. They don't want to have any kind of conflict with you in the house, Okay. Um, I feel like, you know, look at this, the Ace of Wands in reverse. So this person wants a new beginning, but you're not giving it to them, Scorpio. It's in reverse for now. I feel like you need time. You need time to think. But Scorpio, this is what I see. I hope it resonates with you. If it does, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on YouTube. And if it doesn't resonate, I'll have the link down below in the description. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.